Welcome back, fashion enthusiasts. This video continues my series of fashion models that walked for the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show one time. Esther Cañadas debuted on this brand's runway back in 1997, back when she was at the peak of her fame. I would have guessed that she could have been more present for Victoria's Secret because she was a high demand model from the 90s. She always wanted to model. Well, I pretty much take like decisions which I feel they're like what I want to do with my life always. Like, you know, I really want to be a model, so I didn't know what was going to happen or it wasn't, but you just do it because it's what you wanted to do. So you have to fight for your dreams, and I guess they come true. Despite her short time with Victoria's Secret, she became a notable muse of Donna Karen, posing for countless campaigns for numerous years. She made a huge comeback for Balma in 2020. Brazilian model Marcel Vitar only walked for Victoria's Secret in 2003 in the latex ladies and rock chicks segments. She was present in many runway shows in the 2000s. However, she did not have many designer or cosmetic campaigns in her portfolio, but her professionalism led her to work with influential photographer Mario Testino multiple times. Although she is not well known, her body and beauty caught the attention of this brand. English model Jaqueta Wheeler also walked in the latex ladies and sexy kitten segments in 2003. Back in those days, all the Victoria's Secret models had long flowy hair. She was one of the very few that had short hair, but that's what made her eye-catching. Although her hair was short, she still looked feminine and dreamy. I used to confuse her with Leticia Berkauer. I thought they were the same model. Give me a like if you think they look alike. This video concludes with American model Jessica White. She only walked in the Surreally Sexy segment of 2007. Even though she became a spokesperson for Maybelline and became the face of CoverGirl, her work with Victoria's Secret was not prolonged. She also posed for a few fashion campaigns like Chloe. Maybe Victoria's Secret stopped working with her because of her substance abuse problems. She has spoken up publicly about this issue. I am just guessing. 